Hey everybody, welcome back to Starfire Gaming. I am Sir Joseph and this is Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, we just finished that really big fight. Uh, we're gonna, can we do a short rest? Yep, we're gonna do our last short rest real quick, just in case while we're looting we trigger something. And then after our looting, um, we're gonna take a long rest. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And we're just gonna loot the folks. Anything of use? Because what happens sometimes is you take your rest, after your rest, you get, uh. You take a long rest, all the bodies disappear on you. I've had that happen, so. Exciting news! Owltation. The Mother Superior has approved me for applied potions and perilous training. I'm so proud. Your little night mist is going to be a certified venom specialist for the Dark Lady. That will also qualify me to study the basics of sudden esophageal collapse. What fun! Okay. I do like these little little things like that it kind of make this game kind of stand out. Note to self, blood stains. Tuesday's inspection was a disaster. How could I have overlooked the stain on my tunic? Must ask Hyrald where they get that special soap that takes dried blood out of fabrics. Ooh, we got a magic shield here. No, we don't. It's not magical. It just looks like it's magical. Check out this person. Chest key. Codia's priestess robes. Oh, excuse me. Char's umbre. While obscured, the wearer has advantage on stealth checks. Char and Veil. Shield of Faith also grants plus two bonus to saving throws and plus one armor class. Not bad, but not as good as what we're wearing. We'll go ahead and give this to Shadowheart to carry. Handmaiden's Mace. Does an extra D6 to poison. Set the wear strength to 18. Not bad, not great, but not bad. We'll give that to Shadowheart to carry around. Plus three armor class. So a plus one shield. Buke of the Mighty. When a foe hits you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction dealing a D 2d8 force damage and knock it prone unless they succeed a dexterity saving throw. And a spell saving throws, reflective shield, warding bond. Not bad. Not bad. We're not going to carry it. Um, 
Will can carry that. We're already kind of... That none of us use shields in this party, so... Is there anybody dead up here? Nope, okay. Dear Mom. You were right, Mom. What they ask of you as a novice in the cloister is just... My heart isn't hard enough to do these things. I had to run out of last 10 days interrogation class to vomit. But now that I'm in, I don't see any way to get out again. Not alive, anyway. I don't even know yet how I'm going to get this letter to you. I'm scared, and the way the Mother Superior looks at me, I think she knows it. Oh, how I wish I'd listened to you. Your Dimbert. Though here they've dubbed me Blue Nail. Ah. Let's go ahead and read this. A volume of Shar and hymns extolling the beauty of darkness, the comfort of nothingness, and the profundity of suffering all to the Dark Lady. A bookmark highlights one such song. Lady Shar, Mother Night, hear our most solemn refrain. Against our will we were ripped from your breast. Condemned to a world full of pain, save us, O night singer. Extinguish the stars, grant us an eternal rest. Our faith is strong, blades are sharp. We long for your final test. red for some reason. There's another key. Alright. Let's go to the middle of the room. Not that it makes a difference, but we're going to take our long rest here. Let's see if anybody wants to chat. It's Volo. Ah, the yeah, owlbear and the dog were playing. I don't know if that's what they were doing, but it looked, that's what it looked like they were doing. Seems like a good moment to talk. Scratch's tail wags enthusiastically. We're going to pet Scratch. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. And then we're going to go pet the owl bear. Whoops. Back, Albear. You Albear Cub is so adorable. I would have thought Shadowheart would have wanted to talk, but maybe we just haven't done enough to do that. All right, camp it is. Now I'll give it a shot. Starian wants to chat.
it's strange. Knowing I'll never hear Cazador's voice again. Knowing it'll never command me to bow against my will. And free from him. Forever. And how does it feel? Invigorating. Terrifying. All of the above. <laughs> I'm still trying to understand it, really. I came so close to losing everything back there. To losing myself. Back at the ritual, all I could see was the power on offer and the safety it promised. I was so blinded by it. <laughs> Just as Cazador was. But you saw something in me. Someone else I could be. Someone who could break the cycle of power and terror that started <laughs> centuries ago. You saved me back there. I may not have appreciated it at the time, but I do now. Thank you. You saved yourself. I just gave you a push. <laughs> you did more than that. You believed in me. Believed I was enough. Just the way I am. <laughs> when I look at my future, anything and everything feels possible now. You saved me from myself and let me walk a new path where I can be free. Truly, honestly, free. This is a gift, you know. Thank you. I won't forget it. That was pretty cool. Let's see, Carlac doesn't want to chat. Shadowheart doesn't want to chat. Doesn't look like Will wants to chat. Let's just walk down here just to make sure. All right, yeah, they don't want to chat. Let's go to bed. Rest these weary bones. Then we'll finish doing our uh, looting of the Sharan Temple. Find uh, Shadowheart's parents. Neither Will nor Shadowheart had little exclamations. Nope. All right. We are good to rock. What's that? Oh, just a folding screen. Okay. All right. The body stayed there this time. Maybe that was just a... Uh... Oh, there were some up here that I didn't loot. Maybe that was just a, um, a bug that they fixed in some of the patches from when we first started. Strengthening of the sword arm. Melee drills for two hours each day. Change opponents and weaponry for each round. Bloodletting is acceptable. Indeed, it is expected. Remember, a well-trained warrior has the scars to prove it. 
honing of the archer's eye, range drills for two hours each day, targets will progress from fixed to moving to live, hardening of the poisoner's heart, crafting and theory of poisons and concoctions for two hours each day. Pupils will be dosed with low levels of poisonous substances in order to develop their tolerances. Yeah, this is quite a place, huh? things to read. This text roots its subject on Baldarian, a sailor of exquisite renown who founded the city of Baldur's Gate many years ago. The prose is colorful, but a little too self-satisfied around the edges, and the novel would be unremarkable but for one entry about halfway through. Baldarian claimed a guardian and friend, Ansur. Bright were Ansur's scales, and brighter still his breath. Yet after a betrayal too piercing to recount here in full in worthy detail, Ansur fled beneath the stone, thereby changing the name of the region he now slumbers under to match his draconic lineage. Hmm, betrayal. Consolation in the Dark. An introductory text explain, explaining the allure and superiority of Shar above all other deities. All other so-called so gods are liars and charlatans, given to cheap tricks and easy answers. They seek to enthrall mortals' hearts with promises that are beyond their ability to fulfill. Lady Shar does not do this. Her words are honest, and her gift is simple. Her embrace awaits eternal darkness, the purest of nothingness, the end of all pain. It will come to us all ultimately. Nothing else will matter. And it is the role of Lady Shar's children to hasten that understanding among the ignorant. When we carry out Lady Shar's holy work, we must inevitably cause pain and suffering. Yet it is only to reveal the truth, what we do. It's a kindness. Lots of silver stuff. Crimes of the Moon Maiden by the Anti-Lunar League. Woe unto any who throws their lot in with Salune. Four ways she has of pulling her the wool over one's eyes. First, she can make you think her husband is a werewolf when he's only forgotten to shave. <laughs> Second, she's always changing, making it difficult for slow painters to capture her likeness. Third, tides. Absolutely bugger for the tides. Fourth, People keep associating the moon with femininity, and frankly, we're fed up reading the same poetry over and over. And it's all that celestial bent saloon's fault. <laughs> Self help book warning against the dangers of self pleasure.
Ah, there's a chest. What a day. I'll be a challenge. Twenty. Shaped rock. Let's Come on, there we go. At the ready. Yes, um. Start exploring. Artifact mission, the agent roster. Here we go. A roster of five infiltrators is written in an elegant hand. Above their names is the noted is the, it is noted that this group has proven themselves to be the most skilled and have the greatest chance of success obtaining the artifact, but they are, remain utterly expendable. Calden Darkwood, leader. Bud Doug Briss, close combat. Kirk Deepcroft, lock picking. Drina Coverly, languages. Shadowheart, healer. Crates, it looks like what? Looks like there's an opening. Ah, right there. Shield, battle axe, long sword, long sword, plus one leather armor, plus one dagger. See anything worth picking up there? Cabbages. Tomatoes or tomatoes, however you pronounce it. Grapes. A sun melon. Wow, that's worth 10 camp supplies. Apples. Hmm, I'll take that. Map of Faerun.
Uh, just a map of Faerun, all right. It was exactly what it said it was. Precious health upon the altars as if it was nothing. The door wants gold trinkets, baubles of mammon. Okay. Well. She's going to make me look in the mirror again. She's going to take my memories. I do not want to forget who I am. I like flowers. The animals. Or, I like flowers. I like animals. My name is... The writing breaks off with a jagged scrawl as if interrupted. A mirror that steals memories. Very sharp. Grab these night orchid orchids. I don't know why I want to keep saying orchid. Alright, there's no Gotta think that letter was from uh, with Shadow Hearts. I mean, it might not be Shadow Hearts, but you think it is. All right, that appears to be the end of that. All right, let's explore some more. Enter the Chamber of Loss. <clears throat> okay, let's go to this other door over here. with 72 hit points. Holy crud burgers. Who is Nocturne? Bed. Your journal. The earlier entries of this journal have been erased or heavily redacted before settling into a normal rhythm. I am Nocturne. I think is her. I see her when I look into the look in the mirror. I can't remember the last time someone called me by the wrong name. Shadowheart has been swift to gently correct slips of the tongue, and even swifter to challenge those who'd use my forsworn name in malice. I'm lucky to have her as a friend. They took Shadowheart's memories again, more than they took before, but I know what to do now. I know she'll be frightened, and that she won't remember much, not even me. I can take her 
to our hideaway and remind her of herself. I'm getting better at it each time. I love seeing the look in her eyes when she finally remembers me. Why must the Mother Superior do this to her? Why must she grind her under heel like she does to no other? They are grooming her for a mission and it will soon take away her memories again. I need to see her again while she still remembers me. I need to tell her to stay safe and that I'll see her again. It's been days and no word. Shadowheart and the others could be alive or dead. Even Mother Superior does not know. I'm sick with worry. I can't even bear to write anymore. Oh, they're buddies. Well, let's have a chat with her. Shadowheart? I wasn't sure if I'd ever lay eyes on you again. It's me, Nocturne. Do you remember? Remind me? We... we trained together. We used to be close. I'm glad to see you're all right. I don't remember you. Oh. A pity. Perhaps we can talk some more later? That is, if you're not about to turn on me. It seems you no longer walk in the Dark Lady's shadow. Let's say nothing here. Sha condemned me. By her decree, you and I are enemies. Only if you wish us to be. You may not remember, but we shared a lot together once. Good times. Hard times. I will not turn on you, even if it angers Lady Shah. That's good enough for me. I'm not sure what I expected coming back to this place. Certainly not a friend. There must be all sorts you can tell me. Things I can't even remember. There are. But with the Mother Superior gone, I don't know if I can stay here to reminisce. Perhaps there's another enclave out there for me. You don't need Shah. You don't, perhaps. Not everyone is as brave. I'll leave come tomorrow. Come see me before then. I was working as quartermaster. I can sell you some things to aid you. And we can catch up. Okay. No traps. Please. Just keep exploring this room. Blood war. You've got a friend. You've got friends in the guild. You've got a friend in the guild. Okay. That didn't go quite as good as I thought it was going to go when I first started. Interrogation log. A log of interrogation notes detailing a Githyanki captive's torture over a number of days. The captive remains strong at first but very gradually starts to slip and offer up information about the whereabouts of a mysterious artifact hidden away by Queen Vlacketh. Githyanki, part of the Sharon's preparations to seize the astral prison, no doubt. A banana. Cinnamon rolls. Cool. Oh, Cursed to put my hands on everything. It has been a year since Waterdeep, since Soldenesalar, I probably butchered that. At last the trail has gone cold enough so that I may reminisce Lady Shar's holy work. It is true that secrecy is the greatest shield of all, yet the sacrifices needed for this new beginning have been steep. It had better prove to be worth it. Baldur's Gate is... It feels strange to be back in this place. So familiar, yet I cannot engage with it. I am like a living ghost, hidden and watching. Time has rushed past like an autumn storm. Lady Shar's church in Baldur's Gate grows steadily and in secret under my command. 
I have named it the Cloister of Sombre Embrace, for the night singer's embrace is the final goal that we all crave. One day, this place could even surpass what I created in Waterdeep. Yet, by then, it may not be mine to command. Lady Shar tells me that there is another. One I must pry from the foul Slunite heritage and reshape to become Darkness's champion. An audacious plan, but one that could cost me everything. I must stay resolute. I must find this child for Lady Shar. My spies have reported back to me. The child has been found. A girl with hair of sheerest black. She will soon become of age. Sorry. And be lost to the moon bitch forever. But our plan is in motion. Under cloak of darkness, the girl shall be ours. Huh. I wonder if she's talking about Shadowheart. I would guess that's who she's talking about. These jewels. Why do I remember these of all things? A gift from Solda Nessala, Mother Superior said. Curious. I could never quite tell if she was proud of them or not. like I was some sort of specimen. Sprinter's Guide to Goblins. No price too high. Years have passed and she still refuses to be easily molded into what Lady Shar wishes her to be. She questions my teachings, hesitates when she should be pitiless, and longs to venture the world like some guideless animal. So often her behavior makes a mockery of the name she has adopted, Shadowheart. That Lady Shar believes that she shall one day become the perfect embodiment of her will makes my gorge rise. Have I not proven myself worthy? Did I not sacrifice everything in order to please the Night Singer? I had built something great in her honor in Waters Deep, all gone now. Those who follow me have been embraced, and I am left with honing a child of the Moon Bitch's followers in Lady Shar's right hand. I will not give up. I will remake her, or I will break her. The Night Singer shall know who is her most loyal servant, one way or another. Take that. Too. All right. Of the shop. Greetings. Do you seek to trade? As Shadowheart's friend, I'll extend the privilege to you as well. Let me see your wares. Oh, healing potions. I'll grab those. These ones I'll send elsewhere. Healing po or animal speaking, right? Yep. All right. Let's see if we got anything to sell. Keep collecting things in our backpack. Got a ton of soul coins. I'm sure those are coming handy down in, you know, the abyss. Whoa, 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 quarterstaff.
some of this stuff, I'm just like, we, this might be needed for something down the road. Like these unarmed things. They could come in handy. I never use that speak with dead. I need to remember to use that thing. Scratch, we don't want to sell that. Okay, she's got plenty of healing potions. We don't need to deal anything with those. <clears throat> oh, just scrolling down. They changed this so much, I keep forgetting. She's doing good with healing potions. She's got a lot of stuff in her backpack.
All right, let's go ahead and do this. Be sure to get everything you need. Come tomorrow, I'll be gone. Oh, I didn't get everything I needed. What do you seek? Sharp as ever. Be sure to get everything you need. Come tomorrow, I'll be gone. Got potions now. Still breathing, despite everything. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Appears to be the horrible Oh no, is those her parents? Captives of Shar. A ledger bearing the names of those incarcerated in the Chamber of Loss. Some are noted to have died. Tresk Lear, Githyanki double guard at at all times deceased Arnil Halloweth elf hollow leaf Amelian hollow leaf Baron Elise Bormel deceased unknown interloper deceased I see them I see my parents been done to them. You can't be another vile trick. <laughs> no trick. It's her. Jennifer. Jan. Our little girl. Moon Maiden's Grace. It is you. I'm here to get you out of here. They're all gone. It's over. never where my power resided. Every time you tried to step away from me, every time you tried to reach for Saluna, my hold on you bites deeper. 
If you had learned, if you had obeyed, there would be no pain. But you struggle on. You will make things worse for yourself. And for them. Ignore her, Shadowheart. She's just trying to spite your victory. Victory? Your victory is but a guttering candle in the dark. Temporary. Inconsequential. Enough! I'm taking my parents away from here. I'm taking them away from you! You cannot. We are still bound to you. You cannot both free us and free yourself from her curse. The Moon Maiden needs you more than she needs us. You are the future. You must return to the fold. We are the past. And our duty is almost done. Eloquently put. His mind stood up well to his time here. The same cannot be said for your mother. Such brief, fragile lives humans lead. This is my final lesson. I leave you now to dwell on your mistakes and make your choice. Shah's parting words make your flesh crawl. There is no lesson to be learned here, only a family's torment, a spiteful goddess's whims, and an unspeakable choice to be made. She's gone. I, do, I don't understand. Shah will never admit defeat. Not until she has stolen one last thing from you. We cannot allow your future to be her last prize. Not after all your mother and I have endured to see you again. Your companion understands, I think. Help her, please. Help her see what must be done. Shadowheart, free your parents or rid yourself of Shar's curse. No, I, I can't. I came here for them. And you did. You found us. All these years, that dream kept us going, that you would break free. No matter what they made you do to us, we knew you were still in there. I knew the Dark Woods wouldn't frighten you. You were always such a brave girl. She was, and still is. You've saved us. Now save yourself. You'll be out of Shah's reach, and we'll be at peace. But I only just found you again after all this time. I can't lose you again. We'll still be with you. By the Moon Maiden's grace, we'll never be far. Please, Jennifer. Jeebus. Um... Yeah, I like all of these answers other than to remain silent. Um... gracious this is your choice Shadowheart you don't need me to tell you what is right is this truly what you want 
It is what we need. All of us. You were meant to be a guiding light for Saluna's faithful, but they robbed you from us. Now that can be righted, and we can rest. Help us, Jan. I can let go. Now I've seen your face again. Goodbye. Not goodbye. Not even close. Sorry that it came to this. Don't be. They're free now. As am I. And part of them is still here with me. Let's leave this place. There's nothing more for me here. One thing. What should I call you now? Shadowheart? Genevelle? Shadowheart, still. I can't run away from who I was all this time. Besides, there's something fitting to it. Can't cast a shadow without sunlight. Alright, Shadowhound wants to talk, and it is now time for us to call it. So thank you guys for watching, I do appreciate it. As always, like, subscribe, and comment, I appreciate that as well. I have been Sir Joseph. You guys are amazing. Until next time, stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you later.